Okay, this is part two of Lose Yourself, Lose Your Life. In this video, I wanted to explore meanings for the word life. According to Matthew 10 and 39, the word says we should lose our life. And if we lose our life, we're going to gain life. So I wanted to know what I'm supposed to be losing. I went and I looked at the Easton Bible Dictionary and I found 555 five, five meanings for the word life. Let's get into it. From this world Running on a hamster wheel But searching for something I can't feel I just wanna be a lost girl And fly The first of the five that I want to talk about is physical life So in regards to physical life, of course, that's, every, that's dealing with the senses you're dealing with sight, you're dealing with smell, you're dealing with taste, you're dealing with touch, sight, smell, taste, touch, and hearing, being able to hear. So that is physical life. Also with physical life, there is breath. You're breathing in and out. You're being, you're present here in this earth. That has to do with your physical life. Jesus gave his physical life. For us he died on a cross for us there are people losing their physical lives to diseases um, not only uh, what we dealt with before COVID but now over 500,000 people have lost their physical lives to um, to COVID-19 so dealing with physical life uh, number two immortality endless life um, Number three is the one where I'm going to post up for a little bit. That is uh, conduct, behavior, or manner of life. That's our ways of thinking, our ways of acting, our ways of doing things. Uh, it could be uh, carnal. We could be carnal-minded in our actions, and we can also be spiritual-minded in our actions. Um, how we include are directed by or how we consult God is included in our manner of life. I wrote a book called This Woman's Work. This Woman's Works. Uh, this is, take out the prelude. This Woman's Works, your how equals your purpose, figuring out your how and walking into your purpose. In this book, I talk about my works, my way of doing things, how I include God in my walk with him, how I include him on my journey, how I include him in my issues and my problems and how I solve problems and create um, solid ground for myself. So I will be hanging out in this area when talking about life and losing yourself uh, or losing your life because I think that's a big part of where things need to inventory need to be taken the second part which is number four where inventory needs to be taken is our spiritual life spiritual life meaning not being in the physical realm not being able to taste and touch and smell and feel well you can feel but not physically so the way you usher in uh, the spirit realm is, well, one way that Christians usher in the spirit realm is through prayer, you know, talking to God, because God is not physically here. He's in the spirit. He is a spirit. So we communicate with God through prayer, through praise, through worship. Um, to me, this also includes, it's actually six, I say five, but. I included this definition in spiritual life and that's everlasting life. Everlasting life is also included, oh, no, I'm sorry, it's also used interchangeably with eternal life. But the difference is with everlasting life is there is a beginning. 
So that made me think about salvation. It made me think about being born again. Once I, once I was born again, I became uh, aware of my spiritual life. That it started for me at that point, and it continues to grow and grow and grow, um, and it will never stop growing because I will never stop um, seeking after God, who is in his way of doing things um, because he is in the spirit realm. Uh, the last one, number five, is eternal life. Eternal life deals with um, no beginning and no end. There is no beginning and there is no end uh, in regards to eternal life. And there are scriptures to back up each of these definitions, but I don't wanna get into it because I just wanna do like a five minute video, which I'm already over. But it makes me think about, eternal life makes me think about Jeremiah 1, where it talks about, um, um, before I placed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. I knew you. I knew you. If you look at the word "new," if you look up that word "new," if you if you see how it's used in the Word of God, is name is mainly used intimately. I knew you. He knew her, and she was with child. So to me, that word "new" um, it uh, relates to intimacy. It relates to inside. God knew me inside and out. Before he placed me in my mother's womb, I was with him. So I was already, I already existed before he placed me in my mother's womb. And I will continue to exist because I so, have And thinking about losing myself and thinking about um, losing my life. Like I said, I want to focus on my behavior. I want to focus on my conduct. I want to focus on my spiritual spirituality, uh, my life in the spirit, my walk in the spirit like galatians says walk in the spirit and do not fulfill the lust of the flesh so and that's where i am that's the next thing that i looked at with regards to to losing your life and so if you are if you decide to follow along with me uh, i will keep these videos short because i'm not a pastor but i just want to share my thoughts on some things um you can look up matthew 10 and 39 and do your own study uh, use the bible dictionary use whatever you want to use a concordance whatever you want to use to try to understand for yourself and i encourage that but again my next video i'll be focusing on number three uh manner of life and number four spiritual life so stay tuned i hope this video was helpful I did get some good feedback on the last video, so I really appreciate that. And I hope that I can continue um, sharing just my views on not only this subject, but other subjects. So say, uh, stay tuned for part three. This is This Woman's Works. This is on Instagram. It's on Facebook and also on YouTube. So wherever you are, please like. And then if you're on YouTube, if you're following me, on, uh, please subscribe. Cause I want to hear what people uh, are saying, what your opinions are. Uh, it's important to me as I continue moving forward. As you can tell, I'm super nervous about, about this. I'm just being obedient, just being obedient to the word, just being obedient to what I feel God is saying or, or asking me to do. So come along for the ride. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Cause I'm gonna keep doing it. I don't care how crazy I look. Part three coming up. Lose yourself, lose your life. Come on back with me, have some fun, and let's learn.